Hi everyone, it's Cherise here from Ultimate Family Lifestyle and I'm home at Hawke's Bay, Hawke's Bay New Zealand with my family, back at my dad time. And we're pretty lucky today because he has put down a hangi for us. So a hangi is um, the traditional method of, of cooking food in the ground that um, our ancestors, Fuma Māori, have always done. So it's a tradition that's carried on. So it's Sunday instead of having a hangi, uh, sorry, instead of having, having a Sunday roast, we're having a hangi. And I've just actually documented it and put a bit of an edit together so you can see exactly what happens. All right, see yous. Hope yous enjoy it. First thing you need to do is put Here's the food that's being prepared. It looks so good. And here's the rocks, man. They are burning hot. So hot. White hot, some of them. Um, then here's my dad actually just spreading the heat around through the rocks. And we cover the food, pick it up, and put it back in the hole. So once the food's in the hole, what we have to do is we have to get the wet sacks. So these sacks have been soaking in water and we cover the food so that it creates steam from the heat that's underneath. And it's actually the steam that is trapped inside the hole um, that cooks the food. So here we are sealing the, the heat in with the dirt. So we cover the hole back up with the dirt. Go and find something to do for three hours. So it was in the ground for three hours and here's the kids kicking out his bun and back to uncovering it all. So this is the testing time. It's always nerve wracking to see if it's cooked well through, it's not burnt. Um, so here we are uncovering it. Men are getting ready to pull it back out again. So dirt off, covers off, and out comes the food. Here it is. It is delicious. It's cooked perfectly. We line the baskets with cabbage leaves so that if um, things do burn through, it's the cabbage leaves that get burnt, not actually the food. And that's it. So there we are. That's the aftermath. This is the cooked food. And it's time to cover the meat. And then dish it out to the kids. So there we are. That's it. It takes about three hours for it to cook in the ground. And I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Alrighty. See ya. Yep. Yep. What's your favourite part? Kumara. Yeah, Kumara. What's yours, Okay. What's yours, Laura? It's bread and chicken and the sauce. <laughs> I don't know because I've got them all together. What's yours? Lollies. Lollies. Lollies didn't come out of the ground though. <laughs> uh, I'm roasting a mini marshmallow and made out a Coca-Cola thingy. So we're on our way home. What was your guys' best part of the weekend? The hangi. The hangi? Last night I think. Last night? What did we do last night? Have a party. Who for? And then. And, and what about it? Yeah. Enjoyed that. That's how we do hangis and alfano. Um, obviously, back in the day, they used to have to heat the rocks through old-fashioned firewood, but it's quicker for us to do it with the diesel burners at home. Yeah. So, talking with the kids, there was a bit of a debate as to what they enjoyed the most. Um, the 60th birthday celebration we had for our dear auntie, who's the matriarch of our fa family, or the hangi, it was a bit of a debate. So I guess all in all is um, we're blessed enough to come from a family um, who we love being around. So um, for us it's important to take the time and to get back and spend it with our family and to celebrate um, the good things in life and also just to do the easy things like a Sunday roast or a Sunday hangi so yeah make sure you get the time to and make the time um, to chill out with the people that you love being around and and uh, the people who make your life good because what my husband and I figured out tonight is the reason we love doing that is because it's good for your soul all right my guys here's my <laughs> <laughs> so this I think is my I, I, I think I have a diet. Okay, we're gonna sign out. It's bedtime. See you.